then it's not. What does it mean? Again, how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. More of those. Good. Another name. Gandrifo. Another Valkyrie. It's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers?
two make quite a formidable duo. Amir, what else did the serpent tell you when you spoke? Kinda sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Sindri. I know I should stay out of your family business. I just don't get why Thor abusing your creation would drive you and Brock apart. It wasn't your fault. Well, I'm glad you forgive our part in that. But when you've witnessed that much devastation and loss, and you know it couldn't have happened without you, it's simply not so easy to forgive yourself or your partner. We tried to make up for it, of course, but that's a whole other sad story as as I'm sure you know. I do? Atreus, enough. All right. Focus up! What are you fools doing back here? Come to pill for my boots and small clothes. We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? Did I fight him? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. <sighs> he's a backstabbing bastard, but... Knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. We did a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people. Even the dead ones. <laughs> 
So much like your mother. so desperate to find a way into Jotunheim anyway. He's convinced the Giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies after all, and it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hang. Their name. It's as if they've been made into a memorial to the Valkyries. Read it. Yes, sir. these now. It says the Gauntlet of Surtur is in Muspahan. Is that what those challenges are called? Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too, for good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same, lad. Don't fret. Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Uh, uh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about. Over and over. Do something about it or shut up or I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear, then.
I guess I can muster the energy. Don't need me anymore, huh? Stop us. <sighs> okay, which way up? Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. He should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. The truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god.
Why don't you let me carry it up from here? No. Why not? We're almost there. You know I can handle it. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I question that. Wait, that she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. And you shall not dishonor her. Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes oh. are... Enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. I suppose that's Odin's doing too. Nice try.
mother always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tyr wasn't. Freya neither. The Aesir gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst. And he's dead. They're no better than us. And they're gonna be sorry they picked this fight. me me for what you did to Magni my old father call me a coward looks like he did more than that move it or we'll pick up where he left off I'll kill you no he is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than Mother's. You killed against my wishes. You lost control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself, never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. <laughs> 